recently my wife handed me this slip of paper saying that she's interested in these five companies CRISPR, Lexicon, Borde, Jouse, and Concept Tech Therapeutics. My wife is a former doctor, a Chinese doctor, who's not practicing in America. She'd have to go back to med school. So she's starting to get interested in investing. She knows nothing. So I am taking this opportunity to, to study more on these five companies. Maybe she's on to something. So I'm about to ready to show you how I do my due diligence. Not perfect. It's not intensive. It's not thorough. It's just enough. CRISPR Therapeutics is a gene editing company. Most people believe, and this company has been in the news constantly, that they go, are going to eventually get a cure for cancer. Currently, the stock is trading for 161. As you can see, over the last few months, it has been going up. Now, since January, we've taken a, a slight downward trend. These are your MAs, and this is your 200. Currently, the stock is trading below the 200. Excuse me, this is the 200. And this is the 50. Currently, the stock is trading above the 200, which is positive, but below the 50, which means, watch it. I have read recently that a lot of people think right now it's a good buying opportunity. The target price is 152. It's trading at 161. So that's not a positive thing. It's trading currently above its target price. This company is not profitable. The PE and the forward PE are, are nothing, nothing there or negative. It does have some book value. It is shortable. The analyst's recommendation is slight buy. I have a, a watch list of 170 stocks plus. And I have them categorized in the areas of, of my interest. One of them being healthcare, others energy and green energy, financial, retail, 5G, China, particularly because I have a China's, Chinese wife. And then I back tested these stocks against the two indicators that I usually use to kind of tell me when to get in and get out. And that is the RSI indicator and the, also the MACD indicator. Today we're looking at CRISP. RSI has 79% winners. It had 19 trades, 15 of them winners. The average bars held was two, and the net profit was 431. And remember that, 431. The win rate is lower, is lo uh, 79, but the profit is 431. Now let's go over to the MACD indicator and back test it for that. This time, CRISPR has, using the MACD, has 83% win rate. It had six trades and five of them winners. The net profit was only 159. Let's look at the RSI. This is my 200 day moving average, and this is my 50. You can see that it's been steadily moving up. You also can see that there hasn't been many RSI singles in the last few months. The last one here was, was here, and that resulted in a short. And that would have been a win. This is the MACD indicator. And that would have been a, a single right there. And you would have caught that on an MACD. Nice good long transition here. It seems to be stabilizing the last few months. Not as vol volatile. No momentum here. And here. So that's... And you wouldn't take trades there. Lots of momentum here. And here. And here. So I actually like like this stock, I think it has possibilities. We're in a current downward movement. And if I hadn't taken the trade at 3%, I could have still been in the trade because the zigzag is saying that not to get out. As long as it's pink and red and we're down, I would stay in the trade. When we, as soon as we have a transition, I get out. For CRISPR, both the RSI and the MACD both give good indications with win rates of 83 and 79 percent very good briefly looking at the website again CRISPR people are looking forward to CRISPR helping cure cancer in the next few years not in a lifetime as a 
as my wife is a doctor and I'm not, I'm not familiar with all this. All I know is, you know, the gene has a, a, a blueprint and they alter that blueprint to, to affect the cure. And they have different different technologies or, or interests on ecology, in vitro, regenerative, and I can't say that word. There's that gnome. Kathy Wood of ARC Investments has heavily invested in CRISPR technology. She believes that they are the Tesla of the of the medical field. Finance Live by Leela Leela has a very good video on CRISPR. Easy to understand and a great start. Kathy Wood and ARC Technologies, which is an ETF, believe in disruptive technologies, things that are going to change the world. They invest in, in tech, technology and stocks that, that they believe will change the world in the next decade, of which she feels Tesla and CRISPR are, are two companies that will. This is a snapshot of some of the, the ARC holdings of Kathy Wood. CRISPR's number three. There are many YouTube videos online concerning CRISPR tech therapeutics. Some of them go into very deep explanation of what CRISPR technology is. This is enough for me at the moment. According to Tips Ranks, which is a website I just started using, and they're showing that the overall ranking for them is a moderate buy at 155. It's currently trading at 161. So it needs to come down just a little bit. So I'm thinking uh, I'll wait a little while. I'll wait to 150. So I'll be looking for a RSI buy soon and a regime change, the green, or an MACD single. So I'm a buyer at 150. Please like and subscribe to this video. See you next time.